Hi guys, Tracy in Australia with my final journal share for 2018. I am thinking the uh, holidays are fast approaching. This one is a Christmas journal and um, I've used this gorgeous cover which is um, Charles Dickens A Christmas Carol. It has this beautiful gold embossing on the side here as well and beautiful deep green colour. Uh, I just didn't want to do anything else to that. I love that so much. And um, I've just gone really simple with the closure, some beautiful metallic old gold ribbon and a hitch post. So three signatures in the journal and it's not um, a bulky one. There is a little bit of embellishing, but not as much as I would usually do because I just wanted the journal to sit nicely. Um, I'm actually gonna keep this one. It will be part of my Christmas decorations. So the facing page here is the, the original one from the book and it has this absolute, absolutely beautiful marbling. Uh, the hidden spine I've camouflaged a little with some Tim Holtz washi and some gold braid. So for my first page, I chose this just gorgeous image of a Victorian Santa carrying a tree, his little bag of toys there done a tiny bit of glitter down the bottom on those berries. A couple of pockets here using uh, commercial papers, decorated it with an image from the kit. This is uh, a piece of ephemera from the kit. Tea dyed, pages are tea dyed and inked and used vintage photo, Tim Holtz to go around the edges. This is a commercial uh, card, nice big card that I had in my kit, thought a kit, had in my stash, thought it went really well. I've retained some of the original pages and what I did was to um, take them out and then um, use washi tape on both sides to give some um, substance to the pages when I, so that I could put the um, all through them when I was sewing them on. So a bit of stamping, just a couple of commercial pockets onto the digital page. Uh, this is a commercial piece. Best wishes for a wonderful holiday. But the colour went really well with the kit. Um, this little envelope comes in the kit with a couple of um, tags that go in it. I use those elsewhere and just put a little bit of excess paper that I had stamped on into that. Spellbinders die cut, just love that. And I have actually ordered another one in the series to add to the pages. Sorry that are you getting shadows. It's very late in the day here in Australia. So page from the uh, book, uh, stamping. This is actually the middle of the signature. So you can see they're not very fat. One, two, three, four, five pages, five folded pages. So this uh, paper that I've used, uh, this, the flowers that I've used to decorate, they're actually from one of Norella's other kits. It's called Vintage Christmas and it's very lovely. So this is a page from a Sears Roebuck, Roebuck catalog and it has um, vintage Christmas decorations on it. And anyone who knows me knows I'm absolutely mad about Christmas decorating. I do my whole house, including the bedroom. And um, yeah, so I thought that needed to go in there. Curl the paper clip and uh, that's a little commercial card. I'll probably put something on these strings. Haven't decided what yet. Stamping another page from the book. Um, paper clip that I've decorated and this is a little commercial bingo card. Some skates. Uh, I love all things wintry, which is a bit ironic because Australia is so hot over Christmas. I've got the aircon on right now. So this little piece is actually from Norella's Vintage Christmas Kit. Kaiser Craft Card, little coin envelope that I've made from a scrap. And inside I've added some little um, flashcards that I've made which have different countries um, sayings for Merry Christmas. Love that stamp. Again, book page. 
here are commercial papers to make the pockets. This one is from the kids, some uh, little kids there. And this is a gorgeous vintage photo of a little guy with a snowball and that's mounted onto some cardstock which I've um, done the edges with a decorative punch. End of the first signature, beginning of the second one, this beautiful bird in the wreath. I've done a little bit of uh, glitter there. I don't know whether you can see. Oh, just a little. Hoping that this is not too dark. It's looking dark on my screen. <clears throat> um, again, this one. these are from Vintage Christmas and the, all of the digital pages and the ephemera are from um, Golden Christmas, but I did use the flowers from Vintage Christmas. Commercial card there, and this is one that's provided in the Golden Christmas kit. Really cute, lots of layering, really like it. Page from the book, A Christmas Carol, stamping. Here I printed out the page twice and um, backed it with a gold doily, beautiful gold doily, little bit of glitter there. So a commercial card and then this really delightful piece from the kit. Stamp. And middle of the second signature, this element is from the kit and I've just used a scrap piece from the kit. Vintage uh, image of old Father Christmas. decorative paper clip and then a little uh, Kaiser Craft card. Again, used the gold doilies and printed the page twice. So Kaiser Craft card and this one is one that's provided in the kit. Really um, wanted to have some of the pages going this way, uh, the pockets going this way this time. Um, so that you can see this beautiful damask pattern that's on that commercial paper. So this is an image from the kit that I've just put onto a scrap piece of a page and um, made a little booklet. Again, another vintage photo mounted onto cardstock. So this is the final signature and a little bit of glitter on those berries. But again, a vintage Santa, beautiful those pockets and then this is an image that's provided in as an element in the kit. This is uh, part of a, this was a larger tag which I've cut down and made into smaller ones. Commercial card. Again, page from the A Christmas Carol book. Just a little pocket here. That is a piece from uh, a vintage Christmas. Again, vintage photo. I always like to have those. This is part of um, the other part of that large card that I cut down to make into a smaller tag. So this stamp says Christmas carols and I've got the bells and I chose the ephemera pieces that had Music, Come All You Faithful, and then um, this is actually a copy of Jingle Bells, which I've distressed up, and you could write on that, but I thought it was a cute thing to add. So my curled paper clip and then a little um, Kaiser Craft ticket. piece from the kit. This one is a commercial one and it says Hark the, Hark the Herald Angels Sing Glory to the Newborn King because I'm coming to the end of the signature and I popped in this image from an old Christmas card that I've kept which is the Madonna and Child 
and this one is a commercial card and it says come let us adore him and then this little piece is from a vintage Christmas and says joy to the world so that's the way I finished the journal I think that's a nice way to end a Christmas journal all right I hope that you've enjoyed this flip through and big thank you to all those wonderful people who've supported me this year um, I'm really looking forward to having a thousand subscri subscribers in the new year and hope to do a journal giveaway soon as a celebration of that guys have a wonderful Christmas and um, I'll catch you again soon